Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. It is as we start the month that we're still working with the new moon energy of late last month. And so we've got all these fun vibes that lend themselves to healing that are transpiring for you in the first days of this month. I did speak all about it back then and so you might want to have another look at that but the energy does change as we move towards the middle of the month and it is right around the 13th give or take a day on either side depending on where you are on the planet that we are going to have this month's full moon. Now this full moon will be happening in a friendship oriented part of your sky and it has all kinds of powerful connections taking place to it. So one of the key connections that is happening is with Jupiter. This is a supremely harmonious connection. It is one of through friends connecting with other people and feeling your world expand as a result. And it is in sharing your journey with others, especially one-on-one, -on -one, that you're able to see things in a way that is much more visionary, uh, much more elevated than you had before. But in order to get there, and as part of that, there may be some other connections that are a bit more challenging. And that is because this particular full moon will also be speaking in connections of tension with Saturn and with Pluto. And that can be, uh, you know, a sign that things are changing, that you are changing, that you are realizing who people are and seeing through illusions, seeing to some truth and feeling changed as a result. Now, sometimes it's that person, right? You see some truth about another person and you realize you don't want to continue uh, with them in friendship or working professionally moving forward. But it can sometimes also represent a shift in dynamic. And so it may not necessarily be someone else, but it can play out between uh, the two of you and the changes that each of you are going through in your own journeys. Now, there's another layer to this understanding as well that I do want to mention, and that is with Saturn and Pluto, with these types of connections, sometimes what does transpire can feel uh, uncomfortable if I'm being very straightforward with you. And sometimes there can be some feelings on one side that things may not be very fair as well. Now, here's the thing, regardless of what happens, both Saturn and Pluto are strongly connected to karma. And so there may be that sense of karmic developments, but regardless of what happens, you've got people on your side and you've got a sense of options and opportunities. You've got that sense of joy and what more there is to do. And that is because of that blessing of Jupiter. And so it's important to keep perspective here. If something is taking place in one particular arena with one particular person or otherwise, it's okay to keep it compartmentalized knowing that the support you need, the love you need, it is there. Now, as we move towards the end of the month, we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. And so your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing, your daily habits and rituals, including your health related habits as well are covered here. Now this new moon will be standing across the sky from Uranus and that is, you know, a planet of surprise, of quick changes, surprise developments and leaping into your future. It's a new moon. It represents new opportunities because of this type of connection. Um, sometimes the changes can be amazing. They can be great. You know, it feels like a, a huge opportunity that can happen here. But sometimes there may be mixed feelings about what is changing as things feel uh, like they're moving very fast. But regardless of what does happen, you are moving into your future. You are moving in a more empowered and authentic direction. That is the promise of Uranus. So for some people out there, this can be a time when there are changes in the workplace. Someone new may enter in particular. That can happen here. Um, it can be attracting new clients, new customers, uh, feeling uh, like very quickly more opportunity or more busyness starts to transpire where it comes to your work. It can be a change in roles, a new project that feels especially exciting as well. 
This can be changes in terms of your habits, health related habits as well. Um, but it's very cold turkey energy. So it's like uh, you have a realization or something comes up and very quickly you go through a change and you feel uh, transformed as a result. So that is something to keep in mind here. Sometimes there are changes that we work towards in a slow and steady kind of way. This isn't that energy. This is awareness, quick changes, quick results as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Jupiter in your opposite sign, you've got two more months of this, all of October, all of November. That is when you're going to be hosting this energy. Uh, and it is a rare transit. Once every 12 years or so, you get Jupiter in your opposite sign. And with that Jupiter speaking with that new moon, it tells me that love and partnership may very well be part of your understanding of what is happening with other people, it may very much be part of the social situations that you find yourself in. If you are open to meeting someone new, I would say this is a really good time to let a friend set you up with someone that can work. Uh, it can also be a really good time to spend time with friends and in so doing, find yourself connecting with someone else in a more genuine way. But this is energy that is fortunate. It's also energy that can be motivated as well. And it's energy that is encouraging. It tells you that you can, just when you're least expecting it, stumble upon real options where it comes to matters of love. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I would say have this person mix with your friendship circle. Friendship and love do go well at this particular uh, full moon in the middle of the month. And it can be in the spaces that you see especially endearing qualities in this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, very likely will be invitations for the two of you to share time together and in so doing, sharing time with others as a couple, well, chances are there will be deeper realizations, deeper bonding, deeper happiness as well. This is where friends can add needed perspectives at the very least, but also friends can add a sense of consistency and continuity and a deepening commitment that the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there are a few things here, but I do love how your life is changing, how you are moving in a direction of feeling lighter and freer. That really is thanks to that new moon late in the month. But at the same time, your dynamics, your friendships, your associations are changing as well, thanks to that full moon mid-month. But of course, my very favorite thing for you has got to be Jupiter and the way in which Jupiter is being activated now and is doing the activating. Well, it tells me that there are important alliances that you already have and that you continue to make that are part of welcoming in more, more happiness, more opportunity and more possibilities into your life now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. The superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.